A new report shows the number of families who are earning incomes above the federal poverty level but can't afford even basic necessities like food, health care, and housing. That number is growing and growing. Brandon Vernazzi reports on more than a third of New Jersey residents who are still chasing the dream. Charlene O'Brien is a 38-year-old single mom with a full-time career training educators. She's involved in her community, raising two sons. And she's a very real picture of the financial hardship plaguing New Jersey's working poor. Once a hardship hits you, um, it's hard to recover. In Charlene's case, it took just one major life event, a divorce, to keep her from staying afloat. She's part of a growing group of residents struggling to make ends meet, as outlined in a new United Way study. Charlene is Alice, asset limited, income constrained, employed. There was a point in time where I was on uh, food stamps and I was eligible. Um, as soon as I became employed, I was not eligible for anything and it was just cut off. Um, so you have to pick yourself up. You, you gained a job, you gained employment, but you're still picking yourself up. They typically just earn too much to be eligible for a lot of the safety net programs that are, that are out there, but yet it's not enough to be able to live, um, uh, I don't want to say comfortably because it's not about comfort. It, it's about being able to live without worry. The latest Alice study finds that 1.2 million, or 37 percent, of households in New Jersey can afford basic needs, and the percentage is climbing, up 31 percent from just over 600,000 households in 2007 to more than 800,000 in 2014. Well, it says we have a systemic problem in this country and that it has to be looked at holistically. It's not just about minimum wage, although that may be a, a factor here. We have to look at the supports for Alice. The CEO of United Way Northern New Jersey tells NJTV the cost of living for Alice in New Jersey has grown by 23 percent, while inflation over the same period has grown 14 percent. More than half the jobs in New Jersey, 52 percent, are paying less than 20 bucks an hour, most between 10 and 15. And when you add into that that a lot of these jobs are part-time or sh split shifts, how do you put your kid in child care? if you're working split shifts. You know, they need before care, they need after care, they have to go to school, um, they want to be involved in extracurricular activities. Um, the food alone that they eat, who's growing, growing boys, is astronomical. The United Way estimates it costs a single adult just over $24,000 a year to survive, and roughly $64,000 for a family of four with two children. That's more than double the U.S. poverty level. I think that there's a misconception about um, families are people who struggle, um, that they are not working hard enough, or they, there's something that's just not enough. And I would say that that's just not the case. The United Way tells me it's focused on tackling rising child care costs and transportation needs. Charlene just hopes the right people are listening, so real change will come, as so many residents are just one missed paycheck away from becoming Alice. In the newsroom, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.